Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will learn how to inscribe a regular polygon in a circle. So let's get started. Let us inscribe a pentagon in a given circle using method number one. Let us take an example for better understanding. Inscribe a pentagon A, B, C, D, E in a circle of radius 30 mm. Solution Step number one With center O, draw the circle with given radius. So let us take this as a center O and this is the circle we have drawn using compass taking the radius 30 mm. Step number two Draw diameter AP and divide it in five equal parts. So this is the diameter AP. We are taking it as a horizontal diameter here. Let us divide it in five equal parts using this method. So I'm taking an inclined line, dividing that line in five equal parts, transferring the points like this. And this is how we have divided the diameter AP in five equal parts. Step number three. Now with center A and radius AP, draw an arc. Then with the same radius and P as center, draw another arc intersecting the first at point Q. So you have to take A, P as radius in your compass, keeping compass on A first, drawing an arc like this. Now shifting compass from A to P here, creating another arc and as you can see it is intersecting the first arc at this location so you have to name it as Q. Step number four, draw a line joining Q and 2 and extend it till it meets the circle and label it. Here let us say it as a point B. So this is the line which is joining point Q and 2 it has been extended until it meets this circle here. So this point will be named as B. Step number five. Now AB is the required length of the side of the pentagon. Using this, you have to take the compass using this as your radius in your compass. You have to keep your compass at P. Try an arc on the circle. You will get another point. Name it, which is will be C here. Keep your compass on C now with the same radius AB in your compass. Cut another arc, which will be D. Keeping compass on D here, cut another arc, which will be E. Now, step number six, join all the points in sequence to obtain the pentagon. So this is the regular pentagon, which we have inscribed in the given circle of radius 30 mm. Let us inscribe a pentagon using another method. So taking an example, I'm not changing the dimension in order to avoid any confusion here. Solution. Step number one. With center O, draw the circle with given radius. So this is the center O and you have created a circle. Step number two. Draw diameters perpendicular to each other. You have to draw two diameters which will be perpendicular to each other. So these are the two diameters we have created. Let us say horizontal diameter has a name PQ. Step number three. Now bisect PO at R. Then using compass with center R and radius AR. So you have bisected here. As said in step number three, PO is to be bisected. We know the procedure to bisect. This is how we have bisected it. And the point of bisection should be named as R. Then you have to take AR, this distance AR in your compass as radius. You have to keep your compass at R and you have to draw an arc. This arc will be meeting the line OQ here and the name of this point should be S. Step number four, using compass, center A and radius AS. You have to draw an arc, which will be cutting the circle at two locations, B and E. So you have to 
taken AS as your radius in your compass keeping compass on A here drawing an arc like this as you can see it is meeting the circle at two locations first and second so labeling it as anti your anti-clockwise so B will be here and E will be here next step step number five using the same radius B and E as centers draw arcs on the circle and label them progressively so now you have the radius AS in your compass which is the required side length of the pentagon so keeping the same radius in your compass keeping the compass on B cutting an arc and labeling it as C then keeping the compass on E and cutting an arc labeling it as D last step join all the points in sequence to obtain the pentagon so this is you have completed inscribing a pentagon regular pentagon inside a circle now let's inscribe a hexagon taking an example for better understanding keeping the dimension same as 30 mm radius solution first step with center O draw the circle with given radius so this is the center O and we have created the circle step number two create a diameter horizontally through O so this is the diameter we have created step number three now step number three with the same radius with two ends of the diameter as centers draw arcs on the circle on either side of the diameter so we have the same radius in our compass that is the given dimension 30 mm here in this case keeping your compass at this end of the diameter creating an arc above and below then shifting the compass from this end to another end of the diameter here marking two arcs on the either side of the diameter here now you have a total six points located on the circle these two ends of the diameter and the four arcs you just have to join all them into sequence so I have labeled them in anti-clockwise direction and you have to join them like this you have successfully inscribed a regular hexagon in the given circle let us inscribe a regular heptagon changing the dimension here I'm taking radius as 40 mm here solution step number one with center O draw the circle with given radius so this is center O we have created the circle step number two draw diameter AP horizontally so you have to create a diameter like this AP horizontally and with AO as radius and A as center draw an arc intersecting the circle at point Q and R so you have taken the radius as AO already in compass you have to keep A as center now and draw an arc like this which is meeting the circle at two locations one is Q second is R step number three join QR such that it intersects AO at T so you have to join Q and R in this manner and this intersection point should be labeled as T step number four now as you can see Q T is equals to T R and it is the required length of the side of the heptagon which is to be inscribed inside this circle step number five using A as center and radius equals to either you can take QT or TR it is one and the same you have to draw arcs on the circle progressively so taking this A as center now and radius QT in compass keeping on A start cutting the arcs so this is the first arc label it progressively so after A you will be having B keeping compass on B again with the same radius drawing another arc labeling it as C keeping on C obtaining D keeping on D obtaining E keeping on E obtaining F keeping on F obtaining G 
last step join all the points in sequence to obtain heptagon so you have successfully inscribed a regular heptagon in the given circle now let us inscribe a regular octagon here is an example for better understanding solution step number one with center O draw the circle with given radius so this is the center O and we have drawn the circle with given radius that is 35 in this question step number two create two diameters perpendicular to each other as shown in the solution so we have created the diameters here like this now create angle bisectors at two locations so here you have four parts of the circle available you have to choose any two so I'm choosing the first one here and the second one here you have to create the angle bisector so this is the angle 90 degree you have to create a bisector here so you'll take any random distance in your compass keeping your compass here at O cutting an arc on the horizontal as well as on the vertical diameter without changing the distance in your compass keeping compass on this point creating an arc then shifting compass from this location to this cutting this arc again you have created an angle bisector for this part similarly you can do it for this portion also now create the bisectors like this and you have obtained the eight parts of the circle as you can see this is the first part this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth this is seventh and this is eighth okay now the last step join all the eight points in sequence and label them to obtain the octagon so this is how you have to join them and label them you have successfully inscribed a regular octagon in the given circle hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching